This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Now below me here, there's a big thingamabobber going on, hot button type issue. Uh, folks are fighting over the Northern Pass uh, power transmission project, mostly in Northern New Hampshire. Atlanta, this country, so the, the uh, cable, the things that came Specific to the bill 586, 449, and 580 in our state, our state, you send a very clear message to the residents of these communities. We are the parent and we know best. However, you are not the parent. You are representatives of these very people. Example of one of the proposed projects and its impacts. The proposed, the proposed wild metal meat project in Grafton, Alexander and Denver. Up to 40, 454 foot wind turbines from base to the Okay, so I want to explain the significance of what you were looking at in there. It was much more interesting than it looked. <laughs> I found out about this hearing because I saw on Facebook there were some Northern Pass related bills coming up and you know a lot of people angry about Northern Pass and I've never heard anyone be in favor of it in my life. And I walked in there, people were supposed to wear orange if they were against Northern Pass. There was no orange in there. It was a sea of green. Green is the people that support Northern Pass who I've never seen before. Now, that's because I'm not paying that much attention, but I, again, you know, just the, the lay guy doing a little bit of news for you. The person you heard speak just then was speaking against it, and maybe most of the non-uniformed people in there were against it. I don't know, but I'll try and talk around a little bit and see what each person I talk to that's in there has to say. Uh, these are the results of this, this study. I found that two-thirds of the people spontaneously said it's the mountains and forests that they love about the northern country. These are the people who live in the northern country. Uh, these are very important things that we hold dear. And we look at anything that challenges, especially the topmost values of our love for the northern country, are going to jeopardize our family. It would be like um, doing things to our children or, or such. We're very protective. All right, I'm standing here with, who am I standing here with? Sarah Tracy. Okay, and you are a uh, business person, you said, and welfare administrator yes, in Frank Northern... New Hampshire. Okay, and um, uh, you are actually the first person I've ever heard to speak in favor of Northern Pass. Oh. Uh, so, um, what is it that, uh, that makes you think that way? I went to several meetings they had at Webster Place in Franklin and at the VFW for business owners. And as a welfare director, I was curious, and I'm also a business owner, to see what they were portraying. And they portrayed it that they would go at chain of command. You start with local people, local products first, and work your way out. And that's what appealed to me, looking, always looking for people with, uh, for jobs. Um, I also, um, you know, that was a positive thing, but I also was more speaking against the moratorium, that I didn't like the concept of people who were, got all their paperwork, got all their documents, are in process for anything to just stop it and have them say, wait a second, because they've hired people, they have people under contract. Whether it was the Northern Pass or a bridge or whatever project would really just backfire everybody. And right now, I don't, I don't think that's reasonable in any economic it, it's times. It's easy to find something wrong with a bill and very difficult to find a bill that doesn't have something wrong well, with it. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so the moratorium was one. Yeah. But as far as the Northern Pass, I haven't seen anything particularly negative from what I've seen at the meetings. Well, here's the concern that spoke to me, and mm -hmm. that is that, and maybe I'm wrong, but folks seem to feel that it's going to be a great deal of imminent domain land seizure. That's force. That's the use of force against people to take their land. But am I wrong? That's not in the plan? or They can't. They can't take eminent domain. Isn't doesn't take effect with private property. So therefore, that's a non-issue, and I've discussed that with people. I have been on a zoning board for seven years went to all the lect law lecture series offered by that for seven years, and clearly it's private property. They cannot take it by eminent domain. So the plus side, well, legally, if they want it, 
technically the government can, but just they can't for this particular project. Because it's a I private, see, okay. it's a private project, so I therefore see, yeah. they cannot. So those right. people who had those unfounded concerns. Because, is that because it. of the constitutional amendment that passed a few years ago? No, they never could. You cannot take for private. I see. It's a private for profit business that's doing the Northern Pass. So therefore, they cannot take property by eminent domain. Okay. Well, that's kind of eye opening. I, I've been kind of just a sideline spectator on this whole thing, and I just came because there was a bunch of people here. To some people, they have the option if they wanted to sell to Northern Pass or not. That's their choice. Just like anyone is for business. If you don't like what's going on, you can, you know. Join them, watch it, or, or sell and move somewhere else. So, all right. And I know in Franklin, there's been several properties that bought, but they bought huge tracts of property to people who were, you know, at the end of their career, as it were, and for them, it was a great bonus. So. Are showing us that even with only a few hundred people, an economy develops. I'm just hoping yeah. there's more jobs because a lot of them are logging and real labor type landscape jobs and some of them will stay here for a while. And I think that to look at a job, uh, they mentioned Seaward for the electrical, for the high tension. Mm -hmm. They at one point came and they did stay with me. They were all from down south, but all the support jobs, they benefited everybody who was here. The restaurants, the local hardware, the rental centers and all that type of stuff where they need to get their supplies. They all got a boon from business. So those customers are no different if we're a tourist state. Does it make any difference to someone if they're tourists here for short-term business, touring and spending money, or doing a project and spending money? They're still spending money. Okay. So that's a plus. So people always say, well, will it help your motel? I said, I won't know. But yeah, if they're going to come and, and, and stay in the hotel, for example. Yeah, and Definitely there is some support for you out there. Looking or are they coming green. for six yeah, weeks? There is, yeah. You know, as I said, and I know the meetings that I attended or voting or camping last year were still staying here spending money at my place. No one was there was against it around because it was information. Right. To me, it's a plus. Well, as we get closer, I'm sure we'll see more problems. But I appreciate Build a list with Northern Pass as to who's who's out there for services. Yeah. So when they reach the point that they need a reporter or they want to get the news out, they want to know where to go and they're looking for local sign up. They weren't looking for people out of state. Um, and I was pleased because it's a Canadian based company. Are they going to bring their own people down or not? And I've heard that they're going to use in-house people for the most part. That's Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf-peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Keen Convention Yard Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.